A well-tuned animation can bring your ideas and designs to life. Choose between Figma's easing presets or customize your own easing curves using the Bezier Curve Editor. Easing refers to the way the computer interpolates or smoothly transitions between two keyframes by using a mathematical function. This is represented by a curve on a graph where time is applied to the x-axis and the animated attribute such as rotation, scale, or position is on the y-axis. A keyframe is a point in time that indicates either a start or end of a change in an attribute and are represented as points along the curve. A linear ease is applied in a constant linear way represented by a straight line. As objects in nature rarely move at a constant speed, linear curves can look unnatural or robotic. When you compare this to the curved line of an ease in transition, we get a much less robotic animation. An ease in curve is when the interpolation starts slowly and accelerates as it reaches the end. It can feel sluggish, but can work well for smoothly transitioning elements out of view. The opposite of an ease in curve is an ease out curve, where the interpolation starts fast and decelerates as it reaches the end. It can reinforce important visual information while still feeling responsive. It works well for transitioning elements into view. An ease in and out curve is when the interpolation starts slowly, accelerates in the middle, and decelerates at the end. For most motion, it feels smooth and responsive, but can feel unnatural or too perfect when applied to everything. An ease in back curve is when the interpolation goes past the initial keyframe's value and then accelerates as it reaches the end. This creates a bounce in the animation that serves as an anticipatory action, preparing the audience for and reinforcing the main action. Much like ease in, ease in back can work well for smoothly transitioning elements out of view. An ease out back curve is the opposite. The interpolation starts fast, then decelerates and goes past the ending keyframe's value before arriving at the ending keyframe. This creates a bounce in the animation that serves as a settle that creates a smooth ending transition for the main action. Similar to ease out, ease out back works well for transitioning elements into view. In an ease and out back curve, the interpolation starts slowly as it overshoots the initial keyframe's value, then it accelerates quickly before decelerating and overshooting the ending keyframe's value. This creates an anticipatory bounce at the start, a quick motion, and then a bounce settle at the end of a motion. To apply an easing curve to an animation, open the prototyping tab in the right side panel. Then, create or select any prototyping connection. You can apply easing curves for any prototype animation except for instant. In the animation section of the interactions details panel, you can find the easing options underneath the animation type. Standardized easing curves include ease in, ease out, ease in and out, and linear. Additional easing presets include ease in back, ease out back, and ease in and out back. To add more polish, you can create your own custom easing curves by selecting the custom option. This will open the Bezier Curve Editor. Create and edit custom easing curves by clicking and dragging on each keyframe to create Bezier handles or by adjusting the numerical values at the bottom of the panel. Copy and paste these numerical values to others to replicate an ease. You can reset handles if they fall outside of the Bezier Curve Editor boundaries by clicking on the keyframe or by entering 0, 0 for the initial keyframe and 1, 1 for the ending keyframe and the numerical values. Mousing over the preview window will display a preview of your animation. Figma's easing options add polish to your prototypes and bring your ideas and designs to life. For example, you can create an error animation for a button by using a combination of Smart Animate, changing the position of your button, and custom easing curves. Subscribe to Figma for the latest product and community news.